We're joined by ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Always, and we are tracking the major developments. And with just about one month to go before the start of Tokyo's Olympic Games, this big number catching our eye, the International Olympic Committee and other parties holding live local spectators to 50% capacity at all venues, a maximum of 10,000 people. And here's this, wow, no <laughs> cheering yeah. is allowed because of continuing coronavirus concerns. I could not believe when I heard that. Wow. Are they it, literally going to throw people I guess. out if they... But is that a good move? Is that a nice safety, uh, additional safety measure? You're not spitting and spewing stuff as you're yelling? Some, some medical experts in Japan saying there should be no spectators there, that they're in such trouble with the coronavirus. Wow. So we'll see. But the games are going on. Ropes, you're going to be there at the games. I will be there, but fully vaccinated, so feeling okay about that. Uh -huh. Yes, good. All right, well, speaking of, there's a pill possibly to... Is there a pill for COVID illness? Is this a thing? Well, listen, there is... We always want to hit the encouraging news, and while our vaccination rates are kind of plateauing. That's about prevention. This pill under development is about treatment. So here's what you need to know about this. This would be an antiviral medication. It's currently under research and development. This ideally would be something that if someone tests positive would be given immediately early on before they develop symptoms as an outpatient. Um, potentially, you guys, oh. we could see this available by the end of this fall, which would be great. One example, one trial candidate that is in late stage clinical trials right now. It's called AT527. I'm sure it will be given another name if it does well. It's already effective against another virus, hepatitis C, so they are testing it to see if it works in clinical trials against coronavirus. All right. Very interesting. Yeah. I know you've got another medical headline out of the UK today. This is unpublished data, but this really got my attention. It's about something called the obesogenic environment. So they followed people who 24 years after they were born developed something called non-alcoholic fatty liver or fatty liver disease. It is associated with obesity. And they found that when pregnant women were obese, their offspring had more than a two-fold increase in the risk of developing this condition, which could be life-threatening more than two decades later. So we're not trying to blame pregnant women here, but it's talking about prevention, awareness, and a link between the in utero environment and long-term health consequences. Really important. All right, Dr. Jen, we appreciate it. And you, thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.